We've all heard how AI is coming for our jobs. Well, I can gladly say, this job, I'll give it to them. With our lives getting increasingly more busy, I'm always searching for ways to be more efficient. And with this new device, I should be able to do my gardening or play soccer with my son while it does its thing. But the natural skeptic in me is always wondering, will it work? Will it get stuck in the divots of the grass? Will the battery hold up? Let's find out. I just ordered it, just received it, and I'm going to open this box and go through some of the parts with you. I want to determine if this unit is going to be cost effective versus manually cutting the grass yourself or even having a service come in. Most of my neighbors use a lawn service, so I'm going to go over the price points that they pay to have their yards cut versus how much this machine costs. We'll see if there's a savings. And as far as my yard goes, this is where I'm going to have it cut. And eventually I'll have it go to the front as well but the back seems like a fresh start. So opening up the box, let's just go through some of the parts. These are some screws or anchors that are gonna mount the charging station into the yard. The charging station will need to be plugged into an outlet, so I'm gonna run my cords here and plug it in. But let's set up this charging station. This might be a temporary location for me, but for now, doing the programming and the setup, I wanna see if it's gonna work for me. So I'm gonna begin with anchoring it to the ground. I know, you're excited about this, just like I am. But you want to talk numbers and find out the meat and gravy. Let's get down to it. I'll begin with how much it costs to have a professional lawn service come in and cut your grass. Like I mentioned before, most of my neighbors have this service, so I already knew the price point. My neighbors are getting their grass cut twice a month. And for twice a month, the rate is $200 a month. And for that service, they don't vacuum up any of the clippings or get rid of that. They just cut the grass. And I can say this, living in Florida, cutting your grass twice a month isn't going to work. Not ever, so it's not realistic. You see, I cut my grass twice a week, eight times a month. Otherwise, it's way too tall. With the grass, weeds, and irrigation in the state of Florida, our grass is growing at an exponential rate. But the lawn services are charging $200 a month for two cuts a month. And believe me, by the time they come around, that grass is almost a foot tall. And for the year... That's $2,400. This unit, we're going to break down the cost and price of that, and we're going to get into those details as well. But for now, you see me following around behind it. What I'm doing is mapping out the perimeter of my yard, so that way I'm setting a boundary. This thing knows where to cut and where not to go. This part of the process is fun. It's almost like controlling a remote control car. I downloaded the app, did a few programming steps, and driving it on my phone just using their app. This is setting a boundary, kind of like this circle you see here. This is not a crop circle from an alien spacecraft, but yet another project that I'm working on in my backyard, and that video is coming soon. Now let's program it and see if it's going to take off. It left the charging station on its own, and I'm expecting something crazy to happen, like fireworks to go off. But to my surprise, no hiccups, no problems. This thing is smoothly cutting the grass. It's not getting any stuck in any holes or divots and it's doing a great job. Now let's go over the cost of this machine. The cost was just slightly over $2,000, which I think is a good buy, especially when you take in the fact that a lawn service is gonna charge you 2,400. So in one year, it's already gonna pay for itself, and you're gonna be able to run it all day, every day. You can do a manual start, and it leaves the port and goes around the yard cutting, or you can actually schedule it on the app, and it will leave the charging station start cutting the grass, and it will return to the charging station all on its own. So you don't need to be home, you don't need to be manually watching it or controlling it. This device is all self-contained, AI at its best. Now normally these things aren't my deal, because I love cutting my grass. But like I said before, life is busy and I'm looking for ways to free up my time. And the time it takes to cut this grass, the app told me it was going to take an hour and 20 minutes or so. So we'll see if that's actually on par as well. But for me, when I manually cut the grass, it's around two and a half hours, front yard and back. So this thing is pretty comparable to how long it takes me to actually manually cut it. But the trick is, I won't be manually cutting it. I'll have more time to swim in the pool, do other business, go to work, and let my robot cut my grass. And like I said before, AI is coming for our jobs but this job and cutting the grass in the dead heat of summer, well, I got to tell you, I will honestly give that job up. And by the way, I reached out to the company to see if I could get you a discount in the off chance that you would be interested in buying it. And they said yes. 
So I'll have a link in my description box below, but also let's go over some close-up images so you can see what this unit looks like. I'll flip it upside down, I'll show you everything. The machine itself is pretty sleek. It's got this really cool sensor up top, and this will map out when you're going around obstacles. So if it sees something, it'll clear it, it'll go around it. And these wheels have thick tread. This is what was stopping it from getting stuck in any divots or holes in my yard. Pretty great. And of course, there's the name, the A1 Dream Robotic. This thing is really awesome. I'm pretty impressed, I have to say. And I flip it upside down. Let's show you the blades. It's got three blades that spin, and the unit actually comes with additional extra blades for you as well. So they're really easy to switch out when needed. Flip it back over. And let's take a look. These are the charging ports. This is where it basically hits the charging station. And this is the top where you can manually open it up and do some programming steps. Here's a few of the functions. You can just go through them, take a look at them. You can change your settings, set up a schedule. You can even go through there and set the blade height. Now I chose a small height because I like my grass kind of short, but you can choose a bunch of different dimensions there. The back of it's pretty smooth. And here's the charging station. It's not real big, it doesn't take up a large footprint in your yard, and again, those are the charging ports, and it's got this brush. What this does is it cleans the sensor off every time it parks itself. Pretty sweet. I'm impressed.